it's amazing Arabella and I'm back with another Fab Lab by Interplay Kit and this time we're going to be doing nail art which I cannot wait for. I just took my acrylic nails off so this is perfect and I need some new designs so I'm going to be creating them today with nail art and apparently it's really easy so you paint it on and you just peel it off if you don't want it anymore which is super cool but before we get into it let's check out the back. So inside we have six solvent free varnishes, one sheet of nail stickers, one heart shaped nail sprinkles, one fine brush, one foam toe separator, one emery board and one eight page instruction manual. So now it's time to open it up, so let's go. So I've opened it up and the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your transparent nail polish which is base coat and paint over all your nails. So I'm going to do that real quick right now. Okay, so now I've done that, what I need to do now is pick my colours. So the options are white, purple, green, red and blue. So out of all of them, I think I'm going to do a mixture. So maybe red and blue or blue and white. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, guys. This is really tricky. Me picking stuff is really hard. Okay, guys, so we're just going to pick red and blue just to make it easier. The first two colours that I have. And I think I'm going to start off with red. So I'm going to do one now red, one blue, the next red, the next blue, etc, etc. So let's start off with red. Open this up here. And when you're painting, start from your cuticle and work your way up. Don't start from the top, otherwise it'll get really messy and we do not want that. So let's do this. Once you've painted them, you want to go over it with base coat one more time, so I'm going to do that really quickly. So once your base coat has dried, you can then apply your little stickers. There's stickers and there's sequins as well, but I've decided to use the stickers. There's little white flowers on here, which I'm going to be using, and stickers are super easy to use. So what I'm going to do now is peel them off and then carefully stick them onto my nail. There you guys have it i've completed my look and i think it looks amazing let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but i did a red and blue color combo with flowers on it but i've only done flowers on two of the blue fingers which i think looks super cute okay guys so i've done it but i'm dreading to get rid of it because it looks so cute but i'm gonna have to so i can show you guys what it's like so i'll start off with um, oh, I don't want to do the flower finger, it looks too nice. Okay, I'll start off with the little finger, the red one here, and peeling it off, I'll show you guys how easy it is. So, all you got to do is get it from the edge and slowly peel it, and there it is, straight off. That was so easy, look, it's all gone. And now I have to do the other fingers, otherwise, it will look really weird. So, let's get peeling. But if you guys want to try this, make sure you do. There will be a link in the description if you do want to try it. But it's super awesome, guys, and so easy, as you just saw. But I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye!